came out to Rumpel's Reptiles to check out the Cayman enclosure, how it's coming along. We've moved the uh, Cayman in since the last video, and it's not, wouldn't say 100% done, right? It's livable. It's livable. <laughs> we got the filter going. The filter's doing really good, I think. Moving the water around. You even got the land area started. We still want to do quite a bit to finish off the land. And was there anything else in the pond you wanted to do? Or? Just add more sand. I would like to get more plants, more fish in there. Yeah. So, were you still going with the uh, South American themed fish? I think so, so far. Uh, right now I got, what is it, mollies in there? Yeah. Um, and you can see, you can see the spray bar kind of change the topics on you, but yeah, that spray bar's made it so that the fish can live. It's oxygenating the water enough. Um, I don't have to have an aerator in there or anything, which is one of the things I was worried about. And then that water agitation is real good. I mean, you can kind of see it's almost great swirl effect around the whole around the whole pond. Oh yeah, I was watching it earlier, and the plant over there went all the way around the circle. Yeah. <laughs> so if you, it's hard to tell, but you can see where the plug-ins are down here. Underneath these rocks, there's actually another pump. Another that, pump that's shooting water out this direction. Okay. And then if you come down here and look. I got that bucket, which has two pumps in there. One of the pumps is going up into the first 55 gallon, or half of a 55 gallon drum. Yeah. Because it's gravity fed. The other one comes out over here and it's pushing water this way. So it creates a circular motion around this. And now, as you can see, some of the little floaties and bubbles and stuff coming over across the top. Maybe you can't on the camera. No, I don't know. you can't really see them very well, but. Um, but it kind of creates a circle where it goes. Yeah. Through there, and then out over here, and then it goes that way. Yeah. So, and I got most, they unburied part of this, sticking with the hose. Yeah. Yeah, but the rest of it's buried, so. Yeah, you can't even see the pump down there. So here's this lily pad. Oh, <laughs> some snails, got some of those. Oh yeah. You put the lily pad in, the came and goes after it. <laughs> Come here. But the lily pad will just go in a circle. Yeah. So that keeps the water moving, keeps the water filtered. Uh, Which I want it to still be a little stronger. It's not quite as good as what I want it. And there's one of the little babies. Uh, so the mollies that I got are actually breeding and having babies. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. It's tiny. Oh, right there. Kind of. Oh, now he disappeared. Mm. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, the babies are tiny. And those are actually like but a month old. <laughs> that might give them a chance to stay alive for the caiman. Yeah. <laughs> and the caiman, I'm pretty sure she's big enough to where... I mean, I don't know. I don't think either of them oh, really see some on them. Yeah. And then there's that lily again over there. You got a lily. So, the stuff that actually filters the water. So this is, is my over here in this. Yeah, this is my second filtration system that we got going, uh, which is these are the bio balls that I have. Um, I got two different kinds of them, but you see how that's kind of see through, maybe. Yeah. Um, just more surface area for the good bacteria to stick to. Now this pipe is an emergency overflow pipe. Yeah. So if the water starts, if this can't drain quick enough from that bucket, then it'll start draining out of here, and then that's an indicator for me, I got big problems. <laughs> <laughs> I need to fix it quick. Um, so we put a little safety measure in to keep it from overflowing. Yeah. But it's all, the whole waterfall and everything is just gravity fed. Yep. Uh, your lights. What you got going on here, man? Those are just the temporary oh, shoot. lights, right? Yeah. For now. I got to build some more platforms for the lights and stuff. Yeah. So I got a power sun over here. 
I think this one's a CAG. Yep. Yeah. Ceramic heat emitter, which is giving them their 24/7 hot basking spot. Um, what's well, this one? That's another. That's a 250 watt CHE. Oh yeah. So I kind of got this one over the land and the water, trying to help heat that water up. Yeah. Um, which is another thing I still got to work on. Right now the pond. It's been staying pretty warm though, hasn't it's it? It's like 78 degrees at the lowest. Yeah. So that's not bad. No, um, well you have heaters and stuff over here. I have the water heaters in that first barrel. In the first barrel? Yeah. Which I got them freaking maxed out and it's still barely keeping up. So yeah. I need, to, like I said, there's still some kinks and stuff and some flaws that I need to work out, but it's getting there. A lot of money, a yeah. lot of time. Yeah, how much do you think you spent on it so far? Oh my gosh. Uh. I'd probably say around like 1500 1500 Yeah. And it's 10 foot by 10 foot with half of it being land? 10 and a half by 10 and a half. 10 and a half by 10 and a half? Yep. And half of it water, half land. It's divided in the middle anyways. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to equal out to being more land than there is water. Because of the level differences? Because the levels, the dock coming over the water. Yeah. I mean, there's hides over on the land side. Yeah, we gotta go check out the land. Yeah, we'll go over there and check that out. So this is the uh, the land side. They use those little platforms over there to climb up on the what do you call it? A pier? A little dock <laughs> platform pier. dock. Yeah. And then they climb in. And then he created using some hides instead of a step area so that they can climb down. We've already seen the male. The male's already came over here a few times. Down inside the hides a no. few times. Yeah. Have you seen the female over here? Or no. no? Not Just yet. the male? Yeah. So you added those hides. And then over here you added some plants with some dirt, but you put it inside of a tote. Yep. And some soil. This is a little tree that I got from outside. Hopefully that'll start growing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're not really 100% sure, but we didn't really want to just fill the whole thing with dirt. No, <laughs> no. Because that could create a mess. So you use the uh, cocoa fiber in the bottom of it. Yep. And then I bought some landscaping bricks from Ace. Yeah. We set those up. So that's what I mean as far as like the cage is split in two, but there's more land than there is water because you have the, the bridge or whatever, so to speak, under here. This is a tote. There's a big ass hide under there. Right yeah. here, you see this hole. There's another, another hide. You know, that log is actually hollow. Yeah, I like that log, man. Can you see that there? Yeah. So that's hollow. That thing's huge. Yeah. So we're going to add some more over here, but so far, this is what we got. Yep. Were you still planning on doing a roof on it? I over actually, the top. since lumber is so freaking expensive right now, I bought yeah. plastic. And we're just going to plastic over the top and I'll build platforms for the lights that I need to put up and yeah. for the basking spots. So um, that'll help keep the moisture from going yeah. into your, basically into the, the floor, into the bottom of the house. Yeah, and, and water evaporation from the pond, all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. It's looking nice getting there slowly but surely at least the caiman can be in here now yeah that's the best part oh yeah they're over there hanging out here's the male they both had slamming food so and they're three years old now a little over three and a half yeah yeah I'll set him up here on this on his dock get a good view of him here. But, and he's off. He's gonna jump back in the pond. Yep. Hit it. Now, female. Oh. Might have to make those hides a little more permanent. That way you can step on them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. 
I was thinking I gotta get more pond shield or flex seal, this white stuff. Yeah. Um I gotta get some more of that. And then what I'll do is build a little embankment going down. Oh yeah. Build it out of wood. And build it out of wood. Yeah. yeah. But I gotta seal it. So once it's sealed. Where are you going? See, she's awesome. Back in the pond. She wants to go back in the pond. <laughs> Now where are you going? You gonna go bite Jeremy? You got him cornered. Yeah. <laughs> she just wants to come say hi to the camera. That's what it is. Now she's chilling. She don't mind humans. No, not at all. I mean, that gives you about a size impression. Yeah. <laughs> Her head. Big. Longer than my fingers. I could fit my finger between her eyebrows. I can't do that with the male yet. Yeah. She's awesome. Whenever she gets annoyed with me, she just walks away, swims away. But if I keep annoying her, that's when she'll start to get bitey. Yeah, they're pretty conditioned. Yeah. So she's a good animal. each other being in the enclosure together so far yeah I think more room they're not as uh, not as tight they got more room to spread out yeah but they're still just hanging out together it's crazy how much bigger she is than he is yeah top of their head is almost a perfect square He's like, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> it's cool being able to watch him swim around. I know, I miss it. She's done. Yeah, she's over it. <laughs> really? You don't want to hang out no more? I think she's getting ready to jump back in if I get too close. <laughs> or she's ready to snap at me. Do you catch them up on the pier very often? Uh, usually in the morning time. Sunny? Yeah. Getting some sun? Basking. Thermo regulating. Have you ever seen both of them up there at the same time? No, I haven't. Not yet. No? No. Uh -oh. Dude, her teeth are getting so pronounced. There they are. Not sure what is. I'll see if she'll let me get a close up of her teeth. Oh, shit. Mm. 
I got pretty close. <laughs> it's sideways, right? I don't want to put my fingers next to her mouth. In front of her mouth is okay? Should be. Should be? Should be. <laughs> okay.